is Facebook better than YouTube? I see it is easier to move with Facebook and others say it is easier to go for YouTube. So the whole world, especially my followers, the new upcoming ones are confused. Facebook is better than YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're watching us from. This is Christina Nimakret Show. Today, the day is a bright day, is a blessed day, is a productive one, and we are all at peace. So, how are you doing? Have you subscribed to Market Show channels? If you haven't subscribed to Market Show channels, please go down on your sub. Just check down this subscribe button, click there, like and share. Don't forget to tell us where you want us to improve, where you want us to share with you. What don't you understand, especially put it in the comment section. So most people have come up asking me, especially my upcoming content creators, that they feel this side, YouTube is better than Facebook. And others are saying Facebook is better than YouTube. But to me, as a content creator, you know, we have the Mr. Beast and uh, those, those content creators. To me, the young co uh, content creator, I'm going to give you the comparison. I've been on Facebook. The same time I was on YouTube, the same time I've been on Facebook. So I'll give you the comparison and you'll see where exactly do you lie. Where can you go? Can you go here? Can you both? Can you go in all situations? Can you be a content creator? A content creator is supposed to mm, oh, you can specialize. So in this video, expect a lot of things. First, you expect the compulsion in terms of the threshold of YouTube and Facebook. You expect a compulsion of um, viewership how viral is it especially for youtube and facebook then we go deep and also we are going to compare on how easy these platforms can be monitored how easy this platform can uh, can access the ads remember it's ads that we are fighting for it's ads that you can get for constant revenue 600,000 minutes, watched minutes, without forgetting 10,000 followers, and you should also be having 250 weekly returning viewers. So, considering that, what do you think, as we go on, what do you think now in the first class of cons or of comparison, as far as threshold requirement is concerned, what do you think is simple for you? Is it for YouTube or it is for Facebook? The question remains for to you, but you can put it from How is it? Can you make money on them? As far as I'm concerned, it favors you. I when you say go that, to Facebook, if it favors you, your videos will go viral. Otherwise, no one will share your video. You, it's not like Facebook that someone is going to come and like their content and shares it. But while on Facebook, everybody can share your face, your post, can share your post, can share your reel, can share your video. But for YouTube, it's not there. So imagine someone goes to Facebook, he sees ah, a post that he likes. He will share it to his audience. And the moment you share to your audience, it means you're going to get enough reach, you're going to get other people to watch you. But if they don't share so, you, it might not go viral per se. So those two comparisons, they are features that we have on Facebook that prefers it, like share button. The share button, anyone can use it. Unlike Facebook, you have to get the link and distribute the link or post the link whereby most content creators and most audience or fans they find it a bit hard a bit tiresome to do that so that is the second cluster of comparison of comparison between these two platforms where do you think you like go to the comment section and tell us what you would feel i go to the users it is very important that when you're going also to do that, you consider it. When we go to the users, we'll find YouTube has around 2.7 or 2.8 to 2.9 billion people, users, billion users who are used who, as of 2023. Those are the users that are using YouTube. Then when you go to Facebook, <laughs> it's, it's a, a world for everybody. Facebook, around 3 billion and above are using Facebook. 
so from there you can determine should i go to facebook am i going to get my space there or i'm not going to get my space there so go to the comment section after knowing that the users of facebook are more than for youtube do you still want to go with youtube or you go with facebook then when we go to the third cluster or the fourth cluster of uh, of like the ads okay you've reached the monetization space you're now on the threshold you've finished being monetized here if you can earn or you cannot earn also on facebook we always depend all platforms we depend on ads ad display but facebook it displays ads on your content after one minute has passed that means if it is a video of three minutes that means you'll get maybe one ad or sometimes you don't get then for youtube it displays ads from word zero from the minute zero it can display your ads it can display ads on your content so from there if you know what ads are because the more the ads on your content on your video the more the money you're going to get so what do you think you want to have sit down and 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 uh, even if we go on, on these clusters one we talk about the the uh, eligibility threshold in terms of followers in terms of minutes watched and the hours watched then we talk about uh, the users the users whereby you find facebook has a lot of users then we go to part facebook is always ahead because of its features that is associated with share and now it has even brought the reels whereby the reels you can remix you can duet so what do you reach the threshold on youtube but it was hard for me to reach the threshold it's automatic it's about what you give whatever you give you gain from what you give so i i don't i think i've answered your question so it's up to you as a content creator to sit down and say should i go here or should, should i go here but for me if you're a content creator go on one you first to concentrate on one if you want to grow like i concentrated on youtube then but then the content you're putting on youtube is the same content you can put on facebook on tiktok everywhere since almost the dimension and the ratios are almost the same so you not get time and say i shoot uh, uh, content for facebook and i shoot content differently for youtube so it's better for you to try and follow your heart and see where can i do best but don't go on saying maybe you saw someone going viral you think you also you can go viral. it might not be like that thank you very much it has been nice meeting you if you've liked this content please go down and give it a thumbs up you can go ahead and even share like and comment